एवरीवन व्हाट अ स्टार्ट टू द न्यू फाइनेंशियल ईयर फायरवर्क्स ऑल द वे इट वाज अ कंप्लीट वी शेप्ड रिकवरी इफ यू सी द ग्राफ व्हाट एवर वी लॉस्ट इन द लास्ट हाफ एन आवर वन आवर ऑन द प्रीवियस ट्रेडिंग डे ऑन थर्सडे वी रिकवर्ड दैट कंप्लीटली एंड आफ्टर दैट द मार्केट वेंट इन टू अ कंसोलिडेशन मोड द ब्रॉडर मार्केट केप्ट ऑन इंक्रीजिंग फॉर द एंटायर डे बट निफ्टी स्टॉक्स निफ्टी एज एन इंडेक्स वॉज रेंज बाउंड नो मेजर करेक्शन नो मेजर अपटेक आफ्टर द इनिशियल जम्प so nifty and bank nifty now have risen for 4 days out of the last 5 there is a bit of profit booking required here but the market look euphoric especially this week is when lot of new money comes in why sips dias have usually lot of money this week may be is little special because some people may have got their annual bonuses also so a little more money this month and next month salary fias did a little bit of shorting not too much just 520 crores not a big amount for their appetite but dis again continued the buying they would be flush with money now bitcoin is finding stiff resistance in the 70000 range it did go up to 74000 levels but now it has been in the range of 70000 to 72000 gold in india like i have predicted it has been up last five sessions again it is knocking on the doors of 70000 now i just released a video updated for this financial year on gold strategy what to do how to play gold do watch it if you haven't bank of america has published a report they are bullish on select psu banks what they are probably saying is that lot of psu banks are still under owned by fis fundamentally they are large banks strong banks and most of the npa related issues are over now so there is a bit of buying overdue now in certain large banks like canara bank bank of india and union bank union bank has been my favorite in the last one year right now i don't have any positions but i have made a lot of money in union bank whenever it corrects i do buy a bit i mentioned in my previous video that fis are not pouring in new money but they are not taking it out either today there was a report which came in which is suggesting that fii participation or net investment into india is not very high contrary to the china plus one theory what that means is there is not too much of net new money coming into india as investment from the foreign participants i need to analyze this a little more but this is something i have already discussed in last week's videos there is an extreme heat warning which has been issued by the departments which might impact the kharif crops which will be sown somewhere around may and june this in general is forecasted to be el nino year which means there will be huge heat waves in certain parts of the country and in general the monsoons may be reduced significantly in certain parts us markets are facing a major issue these days the job data is not looking bad at all which means that there is not too much of job loss happening unemployment numbers are okay inflation too is not crashing it is kind of sticky what it is leading to is a phenomena where fed is not able to make up its mind when to lower the interest rates they have already said they want to lower it three times before probably the end of year which is effectively saying that before the election they will reduce the interest rate three times so this is kind of leading to frustration in the market where market is anticipating a rate cut soon but that is not coming for last one or two months at least the first cut should come soon i'm going to share very interesting data today this is the nifty 50 data by sector the idea of showing this graph is to show you the biasness in the data so financial services has 11 stocks in the top 50 which is about 22% and that is worth 45 lakh crore rupees in terms of market cap the next one is it the major ones are tcs and infosys of course but then there is hcl wipro etc in the nifty 50 that is the second largest there are six stocks 30 lakh crores ongc of the world oil all the companies related to oil and gas which are there in the top 50 they constitute four stocks 27 lakh 50000 crores after that it is fmcg hul itc etc the bottom categories are not making any sense in terms of nifty weightage what it means is financial services especially banks move up or down then not just bank nifty but nifty is impacted too similarly if the major it stocks or maybe reliance they move then that leads to significant movement in the index but the bottom ones for example construction materials maybe tata steel or something like that electric construction maybe lnt while they are great companies large companies their movement is not making any sense in nifty's context this is very important as an investor for your decisions on where to invest my guess is that the bottom five lines here are not even of any interest to fii's right now this is another view slightly unclear but let me just tell you what that means on the bottom side if you see the green financial services like i mentioned 22% is the count 
25% is the weightage in market cap, which means for every four points that Nifty moves, one is contributed by the financial sector. Healthcare, 5% impact in terms of market cap, literally going nowhere. FMCG, again, 9% weightage in terms of market cap. Besides financial services and IT and a bit of maybe oil and gas, nothing matters in terms of index. So Reliance is very well diversified now. It is still historically counted into oil and gas. There has to be a better category for classifying Reliance now. I won't bore you with the complete list, but this is the complete Nifty 50 view. Very little reds today, mostly actually in the top 10, but overall market breadth was good. And beyond Nifty 50 also, there was a lot of buying today in the mid cap space. Now, small view into the open interest part. If you see the shaded part, Nifty is finding stiff resistance at 22,500 and there is good support at 22,000. The support is also there at 22,300. If that breaks, then 22,000 is the next support. So this is the trading range right now. Note that this should note that this should not be used for any decisions because these open interests and these ranges change drastically, significantly with every large movement. So this is a point in time snapshot. So decisions need to adapt to it. Based upon the data that you see on the screen, I have taken a small trade. Now this is again to test my hypothesis and improve my readings. This time there are three lots involved. Overall, I am betting on the Nifty correcting a bit for the Thursday series. This is how the PNL graph looks. Right now, it is nearly at a no profit, no loss zone at 22.462. I expect Nifty to cool down by about 100 to 200 points before the expiry. That will give a profit of roughly 10 to 20,000 rupees. The max loss at expiry is 9,500. I'll probably not hold this trade till the expiry. Probably if I get 10, 15K tomorrow or my, maybe Wednesday, I'll square off the trade and close it. I won't wait till Thursday. Markets are too volatile to carry the trade into three or four days. Overall, a good start to the financial year. I do not expect the markets to continue the bull run while I might be proven totally wrong tomorrow. Tomorrow, mostly markets may start with a bit of euphoria, go up a bit, create another all-time high but then it will probably consolidate or go down. I don't foresee any major reason right now for markets to go up significantly. Note that this is a trader's market and when you are at an all-time high, there is no resistance per se. The markets can be taken up to any extent depends upon how much money the traders have to put in into the market. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.